Today I will be teaching you all how to change the oil on a 2012 Hyundai Veracruz. Okay, now we have to take the engine cover off to get to the oil filter. And to do that, you have to take off this screw, this screw, this screw, and then this screw. And it comes off. So now you're going to use a 1 and 1 8 socket to remove the oil filter cover and replace it with this new one. So now you're going to take this oily cap off and oh, oh okay it comes off in two that's fine and then you're gonna come and put it over here on this paper towel so you don't get everything dirty so now you're gonna go under the car and we're gonna loosen the bolt from the crankcase and let out all the old oil so now we're gonna drain the old oil into one of these reservoirs and if you don't have one you can pick them up at AutoZone for like five bucks this is a 17 millimeter bolt in the crankcase. So as you can tell, this is a very tight space, so if you're not a small 13 year old girl, you would probably want to put your car on ramps. Okay, so while your oil is draining out, you're gonna take this old O-ring out, like so, put it over here, and then you take the new one that came with it and put it around. And you'll also have to take this small little ring off too and replace it with the small one in this same packaging. There we go. Okay, so it also really helps if you take some of the oil from the cap and put it on the O-rings so it lubricates them. Okay, so now that you've got the O-rings on this, you can take your new filter and plop it on into the holder. And then once that's in and centered, you can take the cap and then you can screw it right in the right way. Not how I'm doing it. Yeah, I know. To really be sure that it's tight, you can take the same ratchet that we used before and tighten it to 10 foot-pounds. Okay, so we let the oil drain out and I put the drain plug back in and now it's time to change the oil. So you're going to come over here and you're going to unscrew this cap and then you can take your funnel so it's not messy and set it there. And then I'm using 5W20, that's what our car calls for. And you can see what oil you should use by looking in the owner's manual. So this car takes five and a quarter quarts, which is pretty much this whole thing. You may have to top it off with a little bit extra. So, um, now that you've filled it up with oil, you can go ahead and screw the cap back in. I think it was supposed to make that clicking noise. Now you can check the engine oil. So basically, you're just gonna slide this up and you're going to pull it and wipe off all the excess oil. And then you can stick it back in and then pull it back up. And then you can see that it's full because it's right at that full line. Now it's time to put everything back. Alright, so now you can put the plastic engine cover back like so. And then you can take your bolts and start screwing them in. And as you did with the oil filter cap, you can tighten these to 10 foot pounds too. Okay, 
Okay, so now you can clean up any excess oil that may have dripped on here so you don't leave any messes. And then you're done. This only took about 15 minutes. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and thanks for watching.